first into the shark tank, an inventive couple with a new take on the traditional baby shower. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for having us today. I'm Hanny. This is Marae, my wife. And uh, this is our new invention, Charlie chair. It's a baby shower chair. Today, we'll be seeking 200,000 for 5% equity in the business. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Gates had a vision to have a computer on every desk in every home. We too have a vision to have the Charlie chair in every parent's home, just to make life a little bit easier in bath time for mums and dads and, and of course, pub. On that note, I'll pass you on to Marie. Good afternoon. Um, the Charlie chair came about when I had my third child. She was quite heavy, God bless her, and I struggled with bath time. I just couldn't do it, so I used to wait for Hanny to come home so that he can bath her instead. I went out searching for a chair that could accommodate us. Obviously, it wasn't there. I came home dismayed at the idea of not having this chair. Hanny suggested that I sketch it up, and lo and behold, he decided to patent the idea. And that's why we're here. <laughs> Uh, we got a mechanical engineer to draw it up properly, of course, and professionally to prepare for a prototype. Having protected the idea and the concept, I looked for local manufacturers to try to help us develop the product. Quite lucky, we succeeded with Love and Care, which is a very big uh, manufacturing organisation for baby products. They've also helped us to comply not only with Australian standards, but we've got the US standards and the European standards uh, in place as well. Two years later, here it is, Charlie Chair. Can I have a look at it? Can you show us how Please, it works? Yeah, no problem. Can I ask a silly question? Do babies like being bathed like this, or do they feel they're being strapped in and showered over and hosed down? No, well, it starts from newborn all yeah. the way up to two years of age. Yeah. My daughter, she's two and a half. We put her in and she yeah. loves it. But they don't feel restricted or...? No, not at all. I mean, if you see the child in it, no, it's actually quite comfortable. That's a range, is it? Yeah, yeah, just two, just two. It takes 17 kilos. It's very, very solid. Honey, the obvious question is around safety. Yep. yep. It's a slippery environment. Yeah. Babies are yeah. fragile, delicate. That's right. Yep. So I'm sure you've done extensive testing because this is such a critical factor for all parents, obviously. What have you done to ensure that there's no risk that the chair could topple over or the mechanism could break? That's the reason why we don't, we don't have the chair going any further forward. If it had been any further forward, the child could topple over. But the height and the adjustments that we have right now is for the safety of the child. You have to have the labelling to comply with Australian standards. Um, and as Love and Care is our manufacturer, they obviously have that compliance. It's passed not only for the Australian standards, but for the European and the US standards as well. Have you got a patent or something on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. International patent as well. And we've done all the international search. There's nothing. All, all that exists is the shower chair for adults. There's nothing for newborns at all. Oh, OK. How much have you invested so far yourselves? A couple of hundred grand. <laughs> no, it's just, it's a little under 200. Yeah. I was just going to say, I mean, I see this every single day. We're selling units and houses. Space is becoming at a premium. They're going from two bathrooms to one, and often the one bathroom has a shower only. Yes. If you're in a home with just a shower, how you would have gone around this yourself? I personally have a bathtub, and I used to bend over the bathtub, and I suffered immensely. <laughs> I, I know of parents that don't have a bathtub and they sit down on the floor and they shower the baby like that. I yep. just personally think that's extremely unhygienic, yep. um, uncomfortable for the baby, and then where are you going to put the baby when you're done? Are you business partners, equal shareholders in the business? Um, this is my wife's little baby, so she's the sole director of it. But he is <laughs> but, yeah. the backbone. Yeah. He, he yeah. does all the work. What does it cost to make and what, is, what do you sell it for? OK, Land Australia, $54. OK, and then the... Recommended yep. RRP? Yep, $119.95. And wholesale? I'm 75 plus GST, so $82.50. Just to confirm, you're looking for $200,000 for 5%? Yes. Or you're valuing your company at $4 million? Yes. <sighs> so you must have sold millions of these. No, obviously not. It's only been out for a month. One month. 
only one month? Our first container just arrived about a month ago. And you've sold them because clearly a $4 million valuation means that you've sold every single one and there's hundreds of people at Watmore. The first container is nearly finished. How many, how, many, how many did you bring in? 500. So you've sold 500. So we're talking a $4 million valuation for a business that has got only 500 products ready to sell. Can you explain where you got your valuation from? We've sold online. Um, in the past about a, month, 150. About 100. So, what, so what's your profit then? So our cost is 54. Um, it cost me $10 to live Australia wide. So what's your profit though? Yeah, yeah, oh, no, I know. I, I haven't worked that out 100 Okay, <laughs> it's an important number to know. Yeah, can I say one thing? Love and Care have been great. They actually manufacture and bring it to Australia. They pay for it. So my only cost is my time or the, the courier's time in delivery. So Love and Care does the manufacturing? They've got their factories in, in China. Right, so they ship in 500 and they give you a, an invoice of 500 no, times 54? No, no. If I, if I sell five today, I'll go and collect five and pay for five. So that's their price for $54? Yes, yeah. that's correct. So I wonder how much of a margin they're making. I still can't get my head around you want, you're valuing the business at $4 million. The reason behind that is we have no competition, number one. Number two, we have a vision that it will be in every home in the near future. I want big booze one day too, but that's never going to happen. There's kind of, you know, there's kind of reality of what you can get. Yes. And there's not even an offer I could give you that would even come close to that. For that reason, I'm out. Thank you. That's fine. You're valuing this business at $4 million, which is astronomical. You have proved by standing here, you don't know your numbers, right, to be valued at four million bucks. You've only made 500. You can sell each of those for a thousand dollars and this is still not valued at four million bucks. Yeah. Therefore, I'm out. Thank you for your time. I don't see it as a business, meaning that I think you could get the financial upside that you're looking for for your great idea and the great investment by effectively licensing it to probably the partner you already have or someone like that. As such, I'm out. OK. Thank you. I, I'm very tempted by the product. I think the market's huge. Yeah. But you know, you haven't presented me with something that I can invest in but that's as what a we business need. model. Yeah, we need so a mentor. So I'm afraid, yeah. as I was saying, I'm afraid I'm out. OK, thank you. Right, so it's down to you, John. I'm the only one left. You're the last shark in the tank. I, I, look, I, I have... And I'm still mulling it over. I mean, I'm not Please, out yet. Yeah. But I might be half out. I like you guys, but I'm worried about your coachability. You're getting some good advice from the from the sharks here, and yet you're kind of fighting and you're wanting. No, I, I'm worried about that. No, don't, don't look. If you were to come on board, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we we want you to come on board. We Honey, know it's a good just product. a little bit of advice. That was the time to say thank you. I appreciate your feedback, and that would prove to us that you're coachable. It worries me that the two mums are out, because these are, are mums that have been through what your product resolves and they're smart business people. But I just can't stop thinking about the size of the market. This is the only solution to what I'm seeing in real estate terms and property terms, uh, an everyday problem for so many of our tenants and our buyers and our occupants of all the properties we sell. This, this could be huge. I'll give you an offer. There you go. But it's nowhere near what, where you're at. Four sharks have turned down the chance to invest $200,000 for 5% of the baby shower chair. You're valuing this business at $4 million, which is astronomical. John is the only shark still in 
But will Honey and Murray accept John's valuation? I'll give you an offer. There you go. But it's nowhere near what, where you're at. I think your business is worth what you've invested in it thus far, right now. So I'm valuing your business at the $200,000 you've invested. Now, you, you might look at that and you'll say, well, you know, that seems very mean, and, but right now it's got no profits. It's, it's, a, it's a dream. I would be interested in putting in $100,000 for 50% and then lending the business an additional $100,000 Here's the reason you should take that deal. Right now, you have 100% of a really interesting design and a product that has potential. With respect, you don't have the business acumen and the business experience in this area, or this very competitive field, to really see the potential that this product has. I'd like to be a business partner, and I think then you can have 50% of something that could be worth millions. Fifty percent is is a lot. Would you accept twenty percent? No, fifty percent. There's too much risk involved. I love the product, but I know there's a lot of work to be done. If you guys want to have a chat, that's fine. I mean, I want you to make a decision you're comfortable with. Um, and I understand it's a big difference in valuation from what you came in at, but it's where I see the business and there's no alternatives in the shark tank at the moment. So why don't you go and have a bit of a chat about it and we'll wait. Is that okay? Thank you. Fifty percent is too much. I think we'll say 40% maximum. No, he's not budging. We're not gonna go and negotiate and argue with him. I reckon it's a no. I think it's a no, John. I think you're done. Well, we'll see. My maximum was 25%. Yeah. this we had a maximum amount of our business that we want to give away that number was 25 percent we've worked too hard to give up 50 so don't 50%. lose it now you, you, you actually have an exceptionally capable man willing to work with you please please reconsider So what would you take lower than 50%? 50%. But at 50%, I think, you know, we can walk away, have a good deal, and we're in business today. Okay, we accept. Good! Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Mm. Looking forward to working with you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank well you, done. John. I'll see you soon. Okay. okay. See ya. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, I'm delighted. Yeah. I think it's an amazing it's a great product. product. I can see them lined up in pediatric wards. The product itself will go nuts. Yeah.